Meet Die Dead Girl, my main account. Ever since the collection log was released, I've been working on collecting all the different items in the game. After starting my Chunkman series, I've been neglecting the account, but now it's time to resume collecting and share the adventure. Last episode we did a big elite casket opening and got 12 new items with more notably pieces like a tuxedo piece, the ring of nature and the massive third age druidic staff. Today we go back to our tasks at hand with a hard task to get another dark bow paint from LMS and an elite task to obtain another unique from the desert treasure 2 bosses. For our next task, I'm going to do the elite task and I really wanted to use my twisted bow at one of these bosses but apparently at the leviathan it's not best in slot, probably due to the magic defense or attack and the best equipment is still crystal armor but it's still broken so I'm going to opt to do duke some more instead. For duke we currently only have the frozen tablet and an awakener's orb, only 33 kc. So we're not all that far in yet with the grind. And the most likely drop we would get is the ice quartz. And I think if we get this one we can change because getting the mage's vestige or the eye of the duke, those will take a long long time. And the chromium ingot we can just get from another boss as well. If we get the Chromian Ingot before the Ice Quartz, that's all okay. We will just get back to Duke next time to get the Ice Quartz. Or if we get really lucky and get one of the Virtus pieces or one of the other uniques. But I'm just focusing on the Ice Quartz for now. Drop rate is 1 in 214, so that's still a long way to go. Let's see if we spoon one of the uniques or if we get to the 200 KC we need to get. Either the ingot or the quartz. And there's another orb. Nice 1.3 mil added. We're currently at kill number 46. And we should get a combat achievement at 50. That will probably trigger us like we would have gotten a new unique. But let's see. Oh. Like I thought this was going to trip us up a little bit but that's 50 kc for the dukes to sell us a master combat achievement oh we actually did it perfect duke which means five perfects in a row oh i did not expect that to happen like one kill perfect isn't all that difficult but five in a row is really difficult as you always make some mistakes somewhere but Actually got it! Perfect Duke success is completed! Master combat task! Just got another Awakener's Orb at 87kc so we're pretty lucky on those. And there's another Awakener's Orb. We're now at KC 126. So we're getting up there. Nothing really special happens except for the occasional Awakener's Orb. And another orb. Kill number 138 now. Holy shit. Uh, that's Virtus Pro Bottom? Not the drop I was expecting. This is a 1 in 2400 if I'm correct. And we're like... 149 kills in on any of the four bosses, so this is extremely lucky. I am getting tired a bit of this boss though, so it might be a good idea that we got something, but we will definitely get back for that quartz, but where does Robotum? 32 mil as well, so that's a very nice thing to get. Three items on our Duke log. The tablet, some orbs and a rope bottom. Not the item we were looking for but definitely a good item to get. A little bit spooned on that one but we did get a unique from a DT2 boss. We're currently 57%, can we make it 58 with this completion? 
Yes, we can. Nice, nice. Then let's clear out the hard task. And you can see medium tasks are back. That means that we have added two tasks. One of which is the broken zombie axe. I really want to get this to get the quest cape back. And it's a good way to get the zombie champion scroll, which we don't have yet. Might go for this depending on what the hard and elite tasks are going to be. So let's see, hard task. Mm, Calpite Queen, we still do not have the blue gem to upgrade our Keras as a currency. So I'm definitely not going to do this one yet. And for elite, what do we get? Another unique from the TT2 bosses. Okay. We just did Duke. I'm pretty tired of Duke. I don't want to start another boss until we get that quartz. So we're going to get a broken zombie axe, maybe a champion scroll, and definitely our quest cape. And that's the quest completed. Was pretty quick. Now let's find us a good spot to get that axe. Oh, we actually got the champion scroll. Before we get the zombie axe, we're at 546 KC. Oh, that's actually the best case scenario. I was hoping to get it, but I didn't actually expect it. That's now only one champion scroll to go and we can go for the champion's cape. But first of all, let's go for the zombie axe. I'm actually quite enjoying this. This is quite fast to kill all of these. And there we have kill number 8, 100 on the tracker. That's the supposed drop rate of the zombie axe. We're going a little dry, but I don't really mind. We already got the zombie champion scroll, so I'm already very happy. And going dry on something that is this fast isn't actually that much of an issue. But let's see how many kills we will need to actually get the axe. And meanwhile, we get a virtual magic level, level 103. We're now at 1,281 armored zombies, so about one and a half times the rate. Still nothing, but this is quite fast actually, so I don't really mind it that much. But I'm hoping we don't go for like four times or five times the drop rate. Well, there's double the drop rate. Still no broken zombie axe to see. Ah, there it is. Broken zombie axe. Let me just take up all of these drops. Finally, the broken zombie axe. This took a bit longer than I expected. 1,673 kills, so not that many over double the drop rate. And we got 11 hard clues. Added a nice stack to our hard clue stack. And of course the zombie champion scroll, which is amazing. I think in total we killed like 1,500 to 2,000 to get this scroll. So like the 500 we had when the zombies dropped them. And I think I had like 1,000 when going for the mask of Renault, as those are undead zombies as well. But that's actually amazing. Two new items. I'm not actually sure where. It's probably in miscellaneous. Yes, last item in miscellaneous. Broken zombie axe. And then I think it's champion's challenge. Yes, nine out of 11. The zombie champion scroll filled in. And now the only thing we are missing is the ghoul champion scroll, which we've killed like 15,000 or 20,000 already without any luck. But if we get this one pretty soon, we can also go for the Champion's Cape for another log slot. That's pretty free if we get this one. But anyway, Broken Zombie Axe, I'm probably going to fix this. And I'm then probably going to keep it as this is probably the best item we currently have here for a crush weapon. But anyway, task completed. Let's complete it on our dashboard as well. And let's pick some new tasks. Before we complete the medium task, let's first of all go and complete the elite task for a 
champion scroll. So there's only one left if we complete this one over here. Hopefully we get this pretty soon so we can actually green log the log there. But for now, if we go back to the dashboard, we have gotten ourselves a broken zombie axe. Let's complete that task. Brings us back up to 99%. Let's clear up the hard and elite tasks. Get a new medium task, which is going to be Scurious for the Scurious spine. Then the hard will be... Ooh, the soul cape. That's actually interesting. Let's then see what we are going to get for the elite task. Again, one unique from the DT2 bosses. I'm not ready yet to go back to Duke to get that gem. So I'm either going to do the spine or the soul cape. I'm actually inclined to get the soul cape. I have something in mind to do this. And it's not really playing Soul War, so let's see how that goes. If we trade Nomad here, you can see we already have 1340 zeal tokens. We need 2500 to buy the Soul Cape, so we're already over halfway. But what I was thinking of to get the tokens was actually about the imbues. But I thought you could imbue here so you could get some points back. So I was going to do like uncharge them with Nomad here to get some zeal back and then just go to Nightmare Zone, imbue them again and get back here. But sadly that does not work. Like if we uncharge this ring, it says it will refund the points instead so the Nightmare Zone points. I hoped we could cheese this by doing this, but apparently we'll have to play the game. I was also going to go for the pet immediately if we could do this unimbue method, but if we're going to have to play like a ton of Soul Wars, I don't think I'll go for a lot of Spoils of War just to get that pet. I guess we'll have to go to the Soul Wars world, join some kind of CC to just cheese our way to get all the tokens we need, which is kind of annoying. I hope this was going to work with the imbued items, but it is what it is. Let's hope it doesn't take all too long to get the remaining 1160 tokens. And there we have another win. For another 46 points for 2540 zeal tokens to spend. So that's enough to actually quit this minigame and get our item. This was kind of AFK but kind of long so I'm not really sure how I feel about this. But I'm just glad that we are finished. So let's buy one spoils of war as we have a little points left over. Just to see if you can get the one KC spoon for the Spoils of War. No, of course not. But then for the actual item we were going for, let's buy the Soul Cape for another log slot. Let's get back to our dashboard. Let's complete the task and let's see what the new ones are going to be. A bit of a shame that we could not do it with the imbuing method. But it is what it is. Three days after rolling this task, we can actually complete it. We are 91% hard. Can we make it 92? Yes, we can. All right. Let's reroll the elite task. Let's then get a new hard one. Oh god, again. One unique from the Calphite Queen. We'll eventually have to get this, but I really want to get that blue gem from TOA first. So, it depends on the elite task, if we're going to go for Curious Spine or not. Let's generate the elite task. Ooh, five new uniques from Hard Clues. I have some caskets stacked up into the bank, so... I think this should be pretty quick. 
If you've watched a few videos of mine, you know I like stacking caskets. So we are at 157 hard caskets stacked. And actually to get to the next milestone, we need to get to 110 of the 134 hard clue uniques. We already have 650 hard clues completed, so that's also quite a lot, but still a long way to go. And there's still quite a lot of normal uniques to go. There's three rune plate bodies left, which are a little bit more difficult. Then we still have four shields, the dehyde shields. I think all of the rest is pretty normal rate to get. So I doubt we will have to go through the entire stack to get to the 110 clue uniques obtained here. There's also a chance we get some master clues again, so that will also be nice to have some more of those. But let's see. What is going to be the first casket? Mm, just a rune set, okay. And another rune set. We're going to be seeing a lot of those, I guess. Or we get a master clue. Master banked. Let's see if we can get our first unique. Well, that's unique, but it's a duplicate. Ooh, second one, and we get the Bando Sky Shield. One down, three to go. Another dupe. And that's another dupe. Oh, there we go. That's another one. Berserker Necklace Ornament Kit. Two to go. Ooh, also a duplicate, but worth like almost a million ancient dehyde boots. And another master clue. Two masters banked. Let's see if we can get those two other uniques. Ooh, that's a nice duplicate, although only like, what, 300k? Yeah, 300k. Oh, and there we go. Zamorak Plate Body. That is new. Also got Blue Dehyde Chaps, which are a duplicate. But that means we only need one more and we still have over 100 caskets. So this is looking pretty good. Ooh, oh, this hurts. Saradomen Dehyde Shield. We still need four of them. But we already have this one. Oh, this kind of hurt as these are really rare. Rolled the wrong shield. Another Armadil Coif. This is worth quite a penny. No. Oh, it's the purple sweets together with the magic combo. Yeah, that's worth nothing. Ah, there we go. Saradomen Blade Skirt to finish the task. Together with a Master Clue, which I will do after rolling our new task. But yeah, that was pretty quick. 110 out of 134. 701 hard clues completed, so we aren't at a round number anymore. And this took like, what, 51 as we started at 650? Yes. 51 hard clues completed. 8.6 mil. All of that almost in purple sweet, which is just crazy to think about. But we got what we wanted. Four new uniques to get to 110. Let's go back to our dashboard. And let's finish that task. Always fun to do some clues. You always get a lot of log slot and it usually doesn't take all that long. We are currently at elite 58% if we complete these hard clues. Can we make it 59? Yes, we can. Okay, going up in the percentages. Let's then clear out the Calphite Queen task. Let's generate a new hard one. Ooh, Nihil Shard Ceremonial Row piece. We still need two pieces of the ceremonial rope pieces so that should be quite easy to get and for elite what is going to be the elite task 
One unique from God Wars Dungeon. These kind of stack up together. We can do some KC at the next room. Then go to a God Wars Dungeon boss. And just bank at the next bank. I think that's pretty much going to be the case of what we are going to do. So actually a perfect combination. And with that we come to the end of the episode. Another 8 log slots filled in and we're really closing in on the 1100 log slot milestone. Depending on the tasks we get, we might get it next time, but that's for the next episode. Have a good one and see you all then.